so hi everyone so now we are going to start with the second unit measurement of mass and time for class 6 students physics for san thomas school ranchi so here we have the second unit measurement of mass and time so first topic of this unit is measurement of mass so here the first question comes that what do you mean by mass so mass is the amount of matter contained in an object and we measure mass with the help of physical balance beam balance electronics balance or compressed balance so here with the help of book i want to show you few diagrams so this is how we measure mass with the help of physical balance beam balance electronics balance or compressed balance so this physical balance is used to measure a mass of very small object like our small ornament gold and this physical balance this beam balance you are very familiar that we measure when we go to vegetable shop or any grocery shops they use this kind of physical balance to measure the mass of any vegetables, rice, wheat, dal, etc. And this is the electronics balance and this is the compressed balance. So these are the four different tools we use to measure the mass of an object. So next topic comes here as unit of mass. So now what is the unit of mass? so unit of mass is kg so unit of mass is kg kg is the unit of mass next topic is what is the sub multiples and multiples of kilogram so multiples of kilogram is quintal or metric ton or many other quantities are there so here just i have given you the two examples so one quintal is equal to 100 kg one metric ton is equal to 1000 kg then sub multiple of kilogram is milligram or gram so 1000 milligram is equal to 1 gram or 1000 gram is equal to 1 kg so next topic is for this second unit is measurement of time so this measurement of time is the second topic for this second unit so here the question comes that what do you mean by time so anything we do whatever thing we are going to do or about to do then what happens there is a time interval between the two works which we have done that's why time is defined as so time is defined as interval between two events so whatever the two works we have done between the gap of that two work is called as time so now here we are going to see that how we got the unit of time as you all know that unit of time is second so question comes here that how do we get that second so how do we get that second here we have a small brief of this that in our early days what happened that length of the day was taken as unit of time in olden days the length of days like day to night night to day whatever the length they used to estimate they called it as time so you all know the fact one known fact for that we all know that earth rotates about its axis this results in the formation of day and night as well as we also know that when the noon comes at noon sun appears to be at its highest position so what in old days they have said that they have taken for the time that the interval between the two successive noons is called as solar day in old days they have said that the interval between the two noons will be called as solar day and then the average of all solar days in which the 
द अर्थ कम्प्लीट्स वन रिवॉल्यूशन अराउंड द सन इज कॉल्ड मीन सोलर डे दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सो वेन द अर्थ इज गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट वन रिवॉल्यूशन अराउंड द सन एंड द एवरेज विल बी टेकन ऑफ ऑल दो सोलर डेज देन दैट विल बी कॉल्ड एज मीन सोलर डे सो नेक्स्ट वाट दे आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट दैट वन मीन सोलर डे इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वॉट वी सी ए नॉर्मली एंड वी नो दैट आवर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर इज इक्वल टू वन डे एज वेल एज वी ऑल्सो नो दैट वन आवर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड वन मिनट सॉरी वन आवर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मिनट्स एंड वन मिनट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स सो वेन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द लेंथ ऑफ वन मीन सोलर डे देन हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट वी मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी एंड वी गेट एट एट सिक्स फोर जीरो जीरो सेकेंड्स सो दिस मीन दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज वन सेकेंड सो वन सेकेंड इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एट सिक्स फोर जीरो जीरो पार्ट ऑफ मीन सोलर डे दस वी गेट the quantity to which we called it as 1 second and then we got second as the standard unit of time so next in this topic we are going to see under this second unit that how to convert 24 hour clock to Twelve hour clock. So here you might be knowing. You have also seen your mobile also that in the front page of your mobile the times comes as twelve hour clock, and when you will convert it to the twenty four hour clock, then it gives the time like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and so on. So here we are going to see the conversion, and we also come to know that there are two different types of measurement of time. One is twenty four hour clock. and second is 12 hour clock and how we are going to convert 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock suppose i have taken one example one time is 3 hour 45 minute pm so what we are going to do to convert it into 24 hour clock we are going to add 12 with 3 then it comes as 15 hour 45 minute and we are going to remove this pm then another example we have taken here as 8 hour 20 minutes am so in this case when the time is in am what we are going to do we are not going to add any 12 we are not going to add this 12 with this simply we are going to write 0 8 hours 20 minute similarly we are going to do the conversion for 24 hour clock to 12 hour clock here i have taken one example 18 hour 57 minute in this case to convert it into 12 hour clock what we have done we have subtracted it by 12 and then it comes as 6 hour 57 minute and as this time is more than 12 that is 13 14 15 16 17 18 18 so in that case what we are going to do we are going to add with pm so remember that if the time will be in 24 hour clock if the time will be more than 12 you are going to write it as pm and then another example we have taken for this is 0 9 hour 30 minutes we have to convert it into 12 hour clock so what we have done in this case so here in this case if the time is less than 12 hour what we are going to do we are not going to subtract any 12 and simply we are going to write 9 hour 30 minutes and in this case we are going to write it as am so this is all about your second unit measurement of mass and time thank you